Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Insects. Bees. Bees? Bees, of course. Yeah, I think all the bee family and wasps and all our pollinators, the butterflies are. I'm not sure about moths. Bees, butterflies and wasps, maybe. I think of bees, like big, something big, like. Like bumblebees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. not the big, real big ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. The big furry ones. Yeah, yeah. Bees and uh, butterflies. Bees that have nests. Moths as well. And hoverflies. Hoverflies. Don't forget other flies and beetles. You could just go to your garden and just look at the flowers, and if you see an insect on it, chances are it's pollinating, you know? We know that honeybees live in hives, though in the wild they love hollow trees and bee hotels can provide nest size for a small number of our solitary bee species. But other bees, hoverflies, butterflies, beetles, wasps and flies need a wider variety of different natural habitats. Bumblebees need untidy hedgerows to nest in. Many solitary bees need open sandy soil or banks of earth to burrow in. All types of butterflies and moths need specific wildflowers or grasses for their caterpillars to eat. The caterpillars of the holly blue butterflies eat holly and ivy. The timing of flowering is important. Pollinators need nectar and pollen from early spring to late autumn, and even sometimes in the winter. Beautiful bright dandelions are a very simple, important early source of food. Ivy provides nectar and pollen late into the autumn. Where wildflowers already exist, it's better to let them grow than bring in flowers from another source. Mow once a year in late summer or autumn, remove the cuttings to reduce the nutrient input, and your wildflowers will flourish. Don't mow, let it grow! The nettle, for example, is an essential food plant for some of our most beautiful butterflies. Pollinating beetles like open petaled flowers. Their larvae may eat rotting wood or other decaying organic materials, so it's important not to over tidy. Leave hollow trees and rotting wood where they belong. Hoverflies not only pollinate, they also eat aphids. Keep your garden free from pesticides. And let hoverflies and wasps control your pests naturally. Other hoverfly larvae develop in water with lots of decaying plant matter. You can find out how to create your own hoverfly lagoon online. Sap runs and rot holes in old trees are also important. Other hoverfly larvae live in the nests of wasps, bees and ants. So these hoverflies depend on other pollinators to survive. Some beetle or their larvae depend on bees for transport, hitching a ride on a bee when it lands on their flower. Many insects can't live in gardens and parks. They need their wild homes to be protected. Bogs. Old woodlands, sand dunes and cliffs, flower-rich grasslands, wet grasslands, marshes, fence and more. These habitats can never be replaced by garden flowers and bee hotels. We must take care of Ireland's existing high-quality natural habitats. These tips are just the tip of the iceberg. Join a local nature club or start watching insects to learn more. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of pollen. Let it be, da na na. Whisper words of honey. Let it be. Don't mow, let it grow. Don't mow, let it grow. Now let's see our video.